Hello, and welcome to the AUTV newscast. I'm Airman First Class Ina Cahoning. Robotics, nanotechnology, and satellite imagery aren't just for adults. Staff Sergeant Melissa Hay brings us to one of 60 locations currently exposing children to a learning style that encourages them to reach for the stars. This isn't your average physics lesson. Come back next week, you'd still be sitting there, right? Because the object at rest will do what? Remain. Remain. Remain at rest. That's also very boring. But this isn't your average learning environment either. Um, this program is a educational experience for fifth graders. Um, they come from all schools in the Tri-County area. Um, they get bussed over and we give them STEM enrichment, science, technology, engineering, and math. Everything we do here is about STEM and they have an opportunity to deal with technologies and experiences that they would not normally have in a regular classroom. All of these educational experiences take place right here at Starbase Maxwell, which has been empty for more than 18 months due to renovations, but recently started holding classes again, focusing solely on the STEM concept. Depending on which poll you look at, uh, we always rank 50th or 49th here in Alabama in math and science. And uh, somebody, somewhere, has to do something. And this program nationwide has put its foot down and said, this program is going to linger, it is going to last, and it is going to make an impact um, changing our position in the world. Students aren't the only ones learning at Starbase. All children are not static learners, that all children learn differently and that we have to put together lesson plans that, in that, in that involve learning at all different levels, whether it be visual, auditory, good. tactile, that they, each good. learning style is clearly addressed in each lesson so that every child learns. We cannot, we cannot progress on unless every child grasps the concept that we're trying to convey. There's a reward the teachers get to see from all their hard work. Be able to move, but do what? I think the coolest thing that is for me is just their faces and the way that when it's two o'clock they don't want to leave us because this has been the most awesome experience that they've ever had as far as education is concerned. They just look at it in a totally different way. They learn, but they get to do all these cool things and touch things that they've never been able to do before. You can hear me talk about it all day long, but until you come and you see the children and you see exactly what we do here, there's no words. Since Starbase Maxwell's debut in 2004, more than 6,000 students have had the hands-on experience, and the teachers expect to see many more in their learning laboratories. Staff Sergeant Melissa Hay, Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama. Is it going to do anything? In fiscal year 2011, funding was approved to establish 16 additional Starbase locations, increasing the total number of sites to 76, with the capacity to reach over 75,000 students annually. For this story and more, log on to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Maxwell Air Force Base, or our YouTube channel, Maxwell Gunner AFB. Thanks for watching.